this uh, gospel is kind of interesting. You know, surely if Jesus wanted to, he could just say, you know, deaf man be able to hear, mute man be able to speak. He would just be able to do it. But instead, he goes through this really, maybe to us, very strange ritual of putting his hands in the man's mouth, touching his ears, spitting, using spit on this man's tongue. Oh, that's, that just doesn't seem right. I think it's an awesome reminder to us that our Lord uses the things of the world to communicate heavenly things. And what is that? Those are the sacraments. He knows that we're humans. We're not just spiritual beings. We need to have contact. We need to understand. We need to see, touch, hear, taste. We need to be able to understand what the power of God is, not just in our heads, but by our senses. And so he uses the things of the earth to communicate things of heaven. And that's what happens here in the gospel. He heals this man. Did he need to do all those things? No. Jesus can do whatever he wants. He could have just thought it and it happened. But he uses the things of the world to heal this man so that man would know, that man would feel and understand what was going on. That's why we receive the Eucharist. We need to understand who we receive Jesus can surely heal us without any of the sacraments. Jesus can give us his life without any of them. But we need them to know that something real is taking place. As we've gone over with our RCIA RCIA class, when the gospel comes, what do you do? You stand. Because in order to communicate who you are about to listen to, the Savior of the world, we stand. Yes, I want to hear. I'm going to lean in to listen to what is going on. We engage ourselves in worship, brothers and sisters, with the things of the world to understand that heavenly things are being given to us. And so let us understand today that at this altar, as we walk forward to receive the King of Heaven, that we are receiving the greatest gift in the history of anything the life of our Savior, Jesus Christ, who uses created things to give us heavenly realities. And we, in that, we all receive healing. Praise be Jesus Christ, King of the universe. Now and forever. Please stand.